Ciao, benvenuti. Ciao a tutti. How are you, loves? Welcome to Dining with the Diva Live. Hello, sweetheart. Saturday edition, leggero edition. We're going light because, as you've known, for the past days, it's been pasta, 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 turkey tetrazzini, bolognese, carbonara, Rice crispy treats, you know, real light stuff, stuffing. So today we're going to lighten it up. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice since we're in spring now um, and we're all at home. And if we're out getting walks, that's great. I know I did a big four miler this morning, which is fabulous. My legs actually hurt. Yeah. Um, but it's fabulous that today we're going to make a fab, a lovely, fabulous, I keep saying fabulous all the time. And don't think afterwards, my mom doesn't tell me about it. <laughs> So I have my list. Remember the adjective list? It's here. Believe me. I don't know if anyone's here today. If not, I will just upload these to my YouTube channel, Dining with the Diva. And I've now uploaded all of the episodes. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm going to put the link below. So please send it to all your friends and everyone because I'm doing my darndest to get up to a thousand subscribers. I'm up to 37. So I hope you're having a beautiful day. It's gorgeous out there. I hope you're all well and safe and... Um, I have a little info. I did tell you about Aldi. If you know Aldi, if you're in this area of Phillipsburg, they do deliver. But also Shop and Stop. If you have an older relative or if you're older, over 60, you can shop there from 6 to 7.30 every morning, uh, which is great. I heard a friend of mine went in and there were only 10 people, so that's fabulous. So what I wanted to do today, loves, is do a beautiful salad. And I thought I would use up all the things that are in my pantry which would be fabulous. So let me know if, uh, hi David, how are you sweetheart? Thanks for joining. I know it's 4.30 and a lot of people in Europe are probably on their way to bed or out. everyone's out and about because it's a gorgeous day, but I'm gonna do something really lovely today. I'm gonna make a light salad with organic spinach. I have this lovely organic spinach from Aldi. I have some leftover blue cheese. Hi Gregory, thanks for joining. Now this is gonna be a more keto paleo version um, this is a lovely blue cheese I had just left over. I also roasted this morning some fantastic sweet potatoes. I just peeled them and I chopped them up and I put them in my, actually my little toaster oven that's back there, 450 degrees for a good uh, half an hour. And see, look it, they got really toasty and lovely. Thank you, Kelly Planner, my beautiful friend who's a fabulous singer. Hi, Angela. Hi, Diva. How are you, sweetheart? Angela Brown, you made me laugh today on your Facebook post with your husband and your cooking. You just, you killed me on that, that was hilarious. Laura, how are you, sweethearts? So we're making a really light salad, but what I'm gonna do first is make the dressing, and we make the dressing in the bowl that we're gonna have it in. I learned this from the Barefoot Contessa. Oh, girl, I'm so glad you're good, sweetheart. You look fabulous. So we're gonna make the dressing right here in the bowl for the salad, because what we do, if we're not gonna eat the salad right away, keep the dressing in the bottom of the bowl. And then you put the salad on top and then when you're ready to go, you toss it. So it's really great. It's not butternut squash, sweet pea, it's sweet potatoes, actually. I peeled three sweet potatoes, chopped them up, and, um, <laughs> and I got them at Aldi, actually, and then I just roasted them with a little oil and salt and pepper in my toaster oven, so that was great. Kelly Planner, that's right, popcorn huckleberry poe. Kelly Planner was one of my boy students, so that was one of her warm-ups from my, um, my teacher, the great Barbara Conrad had given me. So, so that's sweet potatoes, sweetheart. I also have a little bacon, why not, to crumble on top. I'm gonna do two different salads. I'm gonna do this lovely spinach salad. So I'm gonna start right away now with just um, some mustard and some honey. I have some really lovely mustard from, actually my sister sent it to me from Trader Joe's. Hi Hope, Briggs, how are you, love? Beautiful Sopranos are here. This is a beautiful blue cheese mustard, actually, from Trader Joe's, my sister sent. I don't have a Trader Joe's really close to me here, but I know a lot of you guys have them. This is a great mustard, sort of a Dijon blue cheesy. So I'm going to put that in the bottom of the bowl, loves. A couple tablespoons. You know me, I never measure anything. Um, so we're going to do it with some mustard. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Hope. Hi, Bill. How are you, loves? Welcome today. So we're going to do a little mustard. We're going to do a little of raw honey, raw honey to make it sweet. Uh, so I'm going to put that in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, a little bit, a uh, squirt of fresh lemon juice. Just hold your hand like this so you don't get any of the seeds in there. We don't need to go to the dentist right now, sweethearts. <laughs> so remember, <laughs> be careful with that. Then what I like to do is put a little bit, a little dash of apple cider vinegar, because apple cider vinegar is very healthy for you. Just a little bit. 
splash that in and we're gonna get that all going. It'd be lovely if you wanna put garlic in this, if you wanna put um, some shallots in it, if you have any, to give it sort of an oniony taste, it's lovely as well. So just mix all that up, just mixing that up. And then I'm gonna add some olive oil. We can add salt and pepper, but a vinaigrette is very easy to make. With all those ingredients, I'm gonna love that salad, great, but yes. Well, honey and mustard is fabulous. I, it's just delicious. And to mix that with the uh, turkey and apples, that's what I'm doing. It's a turkey, apple, and sweet potato, and toasted almonds uh, in the salad with some blue cheese, it'll be lovely. So here's the vinaigrette here, and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, but any type of oil. I am actually some of the nice oils, if you have a hazelnut oil for salad is great. Uh, pecan oil, I actually have a pecan oil, hazelnut oil. Um, what's a great one is avocado oil. Hi, Michael Kioldi, sweetheart. I'm just making a Leggero salad here. So we're just gonna make a little bit of a vinaigrette, just drizzle the olive oil so you can incorporate it in so it doesn't separate. And that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna toss it all. So oh, sesame oil, that would be fabulous too, sweetheart. Yeah. Sesame oil is great, Bill. Yeah, that's a fantastic oil, it has such great flavor. Hi, Maura, Miss Morris watching in the house. Welcome, loves, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I set that up and I have all the videos downloaded now. And I'm just gonna pour a little more oil in so we get a little more. You can always adjust this to what you guys, you sort of eyeball it, that's what I do. I eyeball everything. <laughs> Some people, they don't eyeball it, you know, they wanna measure it all, which is great too. I'm just not a big measurer but I know I should for my recipes. So we're just gonna incorporate all of that in. So we have a lovely vinaigrette. I'm just gonna taste that, sweethearts. Let me just sort of wipe my hand here, I know. <laughs> Let me get a spoon. I'm getting there, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's see what that's like. Mmm, fantastic. Nice piquant, a little salt, and a little crushed black pepper. Hi, Suzanne Turley, how are you? My mom's clapping at the word piquant. See, she, that's what she does. She keeps score of all the words I use. And at the end, I get a prize. Yes, I do. I eyeball everything too. Do you, Bill? Yeah, I just eyeball it. Yeah. Maura, Kelly has to measure everything. Well, yeah, I get that sweetheart because, you know, he's a chef and he's a baker and he bakes everything, so I get it. So here's our beautiful dressing, love. Salt and pepper, boom, right there in the bottom of the bowl, which is fabulous. So that's all done. And now what we're gonna do, loves, is we're just gonna add our beautiful ingredients. I have a lovely organic spinach. Uh, we call it dump cooking, you dump it all in. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Angela, we dump it all in. So here's some of my organic spinach. There's a few icky leaves, so pick those out, because I've had this for a little bit, unfortunately, I didn't look through it, but I'm a big, I pick through the lettuce, even though this is organic. You always have to look because actually, here's a story. I ordered some ro romaine, organic romaine hearts from Aldi. And then when I looked through them today, I was gonna use them because I'd actually prefer romaine lettuce in this, but I wanna use organic. They had, sorry, I don't mean to be gross, little gnats. So I pitched them all, I threw them all away, but they, they gave me a store credit, it was fine, but always make sure you wash your produce, you look through it, even if it's organic because it's organic and it can tend to have more bugs and dirt and that sort of thing. It's great, but just make sure you check it, sweethearts. I don't think a little means what you think it means. A little, <laughs> I don't know. Hi, sweethearts, thanks for joining me. Yeah, I know, a little bit. So we have the spinach in here, organic spinach. I'm gonna add the beautiful roasted sweet potatoes. Just add everything in. It's just gonna be a big, as we dump it all in. Um, and we have some of our beautiful turkey. We took that off the turkey uh, today because we had roasted a turkey. And what's great, loves, is you can get so much mileage out of a turkey. Ciao, Stefano. Come stai? Tutto bene? Stefano is a fabulous chef in Rome. Fabulous. Hi, Cheryl. How are you, sweetheart? Um, so the turkey we roasted, as you know, yesterday we, were, we made turkey tetrazzini. Today we're making turkey salad, two types. And I have on the back burner this big Le Creuset. See this, loves? In here is a huge turkey soup. Um, so I put the turkey carcass in there with onion, celery, and carrot. And hi, Pranilla, hi, sweetheart. So I have that, and I'm gonna make a great turkey soup, and I'll have turkey stock. So I'm gonna put some of this turkey in. I'm gonna half this, because I'm gonna show you another recipe after this one. 
some beautiful, fresh roasted turkey. We're going to put that right in. And I'm going to put in some beautiful, these are actually right from Aldi. They're already roasted and oven roasted unsalted. That's what I like to use. So you, so you can sort of, um, cheers to turkey. I love it. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, so these are great from Aldi. If you have an Aldi, they're oven roasted almonds unsalted. They're great. So they have that roasted taste, but no salt. Fantastic. So I just add a few of those. Add some of this beautiful blue cheese, un poco. Hi, Cheryl. I'm so glad you got your Aldi order. That's fabulous. So a little bit of blue cheese, guys. This is going to be a great salad. A little bit lighter than the past few days. And then some crumbled bacon. I mean, what's wrong with this, right? So if you're doing keto or you're doing low carb, this is the way to go, sweethearts, because this is really as low carb as it gets. The honey would be not low carb. The honey has a lot of sugar. So therefore I would put, if you just don't add it then, or put stevia in it. I'm not one who likes to use um, aspartame or Splenda or things like that, but I do like stevia. Um, it's not bad in salad dressings, so you could try that. Or just don't add it, just, just to you know have the vinegar, the lemon juice is great as well. Hi, Drew, how are you, sweetheart? So here we go, lovies. I'm just gonna get some, Things. Get connection. I think I'm back. Okay. Connection available. Okay, sweethearts. <laughs> Stay with me, loves. Sorry, the internet is very difficult on Saturday, yes. especially now. I'm adding some honey crisp apples. I'm now chopping up a few honey crisps. As you see, I'm chopping on my table because I have a wooden table that's almost like a cutting board. So I use it as such. So I do clean it and disinfect it. Do not worry. Um, so just a few crisp. Honey crisp apples. They're lovely in a salad. They're great with the uh, with the almonds, but also what would be great in this loves is uh, some toasted pecans, walnuts, whatever nuts you like to use. Just lovely. So whatever you have, do that. So here we go. We have two beautiful light salads. So just toss all that in. Get the dressing all dispersed, and there we go. We have this gorgeous spinach, apple, um, roasted sweet potato. Um, vinaigrette is salad with a beautiful apple cider vinaigrette with honey and some beautiful blue cheese mustard. And there you have it, lovies. Gorgeous salad, very light, wonderful for this time of year. It's fantastic. Put a little salt on top, a little pepper. You're ready to go. Now, uno salata finito, <laughs> one salad finished. So that's for dinner tonight. The second one, sweethearts, is a recipe that my grandmother, my grandmother? Where's she, mama? Nana. Oh, my nana. nana. My grandmother had come up with when using leftover turkey. So we have leftover turkey. Here it is that we've picked off the carcass this morning. So if that's, this is very simple. It's a turkey salad, you know, like a chicken salad type of thing, but it's made with turkey. And what we do is my mom loves Miracle Whip. <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I'm doing two different ones because I like mayonnaise. She likes Miracle Whip. So what Mama Lamberti wants, Mama Lamberti gets. <laughs> so this is the simple recipe. Mom's laughing in the background to hear. Here we are. Hi, Lynn. How are you, sweetheart? Oh, good. So it's really? basically, no, it's Lynn Wells, oh, another Lynn. Okay. Hi, Kelly. Oh, Kelly's watching. We're doing turkey salad, Nana style turkey. Green olives with the pimentos. You find these in the can, very simple. Just the sliced ones. You can find them everywhere. Salad. The, in the salad aisle, salad, salad olives. These green olives, boom, you put those in. Then because my mother wants Miracle Whip. <laughs> now Miracle Whip is a salad dressing, it's sweeter, it has more sugar in it, so if you're doing low carb, there's only two carbs in it, but that's for a tablespoon. You have to put way more than a tablespoon in here for this. <laughs> so I tend to like mayonnaise just because I like the taste a little bit better, and then to make it sweet, what I do is I add a little sweet pickle juice if I want that. But since mom is in the house, we're going with the fabulous. Hi, Richard. Hi, sweetheart. So now we're putting in the Miracle Whip. Don't ask how much. No. Just keep going until it's really smooth and unctuous. There's the word. <laughs> and then I'm going to put this on. See, we just stir this up, loves. This is mom's memory. She needs it on a roll. This is one of those simple, you know, like the Parker House, those nice squishy rolls you can get, the Hawaiian rolls. Yeah. Yeah, that's what my mom has the memory of, but you can put it on anything. It would be delicious on uh, some lovely baguette, French bread, whole wheat bread. So this is the turkey salad. We just mush this all up with the Miracle Whip. 
It's a simple salad. This is great to use, you know, leftover turkey. I mean, look how much mileage I've gotten out of this bird. Please get a turkey. So get a turkey. I mean, all the chicken in the stores, it's all wiped out, but I see that there are quite a few turkeys left. So you'll get turkey soup, turkey tetrazzini, turkey, turkey a la king, turkey salad. It's really fantastic. So as you see, I'm gonna put in a lot of black pepper because that's what mama likes. It's turkey lurkey time. That's right, Richard. What's that from, boo-boo? Turkey lurkey, which, which show is it? Golden Girls. Oh, the girl, is it? No, I thought it was, it's, no, it's a song. It's a song from a Broadway show. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I think it's Burt Baccarat. Is it Burt Baccarat? I don't know. I think it is. It's Promises, Promises. Is that what it is, babe? Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. Richard will tell me. It's turkey lurkey. I don't know. Or maybe it is. Well, turkey the lurkey. The sky is falling. The sky is falling, but there's also a song. Oh, okay. Sweethearts. I know, I'm a little crazy today. Believe me, I've only had two cups of coffee. That's it. I promise. It was a little nuts. We went, I went for a long walk with Lars, and then we, uh, I taught a few voice lessons today. That's it. Turkey lurkey time. <laughs> so here we go, loves. Look at this beautiful turkey salad. Ready to go. It's son time. Oh. That's what it is. Here we go. That's, so here we go. Plenty. Yeah. That's plenty. We're going to put this on for Mama. Look at it. Mom gets her turkey Sammy. Mama Lamberti gets her turkey Sammy. There she is. Gotcha. She's happy. Oh. Baccarat. Bird Baccarat. That's right. Oh. Promises, promises. That's yeah, it. Because Richard and I, my dear friend Richard Fleischman, brilliant violist, we saw Promises, Promises with mm. Kristen Chenoweth. That's right, on Broadway. It was, it was fabulous. How is it, Mama? Fabulous. Fabuloso. Oh, oh, oh. Turkey salad is great. Scrumptious. So, scrumptious. She's using all of her adjectives, too. We're doing well here in our homeschool program. So here we go, loves. Now I'm gonna make another one with real mayo. Why not? You're all here with me, join me. So I have a little bit of turkey in here, so I'm just gonna make it with real mayo. Just dump it in, it couldn't be more keto friendly. And I'll put in um, the rest of a little few olives, and we're good to go. So it's great, just make a, if you don't like Miracle Whip, you want it with mayo, put a little mayo in, a little sweet pickle juice, a little mustard. Whatever you want, it's up to you, loves. That's why it's so customizable. It's great to have turkey around. And I'm gonna have a great turkey soup that I'm gonna make for, I don't know for a live if I'll do a soup just because it's, I mean, it's a lot of veggies and sort of cutting up and that sort of thing. But I'm gonna use, I'll have a lot of turkey stock as well. And I am going to do risotto for you all. Um, I don't have any porcini mushrooms, but I have, beautiful creamy mushrooms and some regular domestic mushrooms. And I thought it would be fun just to do a risotto tutorial because I know some of you would love that. And also, I think I have the ingredients now to do the ravioli al uovo. That's the ravioli that's with spinach and ricotta. And you make a mixture of that with Parmesan and you put it in the center of a, a ravioli that you make. We'll make the pasta homemade and you put a little dollop of this in and you put a well in and then you put an egg yolk. You cover it, you crimp it, and then you boil it for a few minutes and then you serve it with brown butter. And then the yolk just goes, yeah, it's fabuloso. I mean, it's just off the chain fabulous. So uh, mm. Lars and I have made that a few times. It's a tricky little thing, but I always wanted to make it and it's such a delicious dish. It's mm. just fabulous. So we're gonna show you because we have some flour and uh, to show you how to make the, the pasta homemade that we do. It might be in a couple sections because the pasta does have to rest for a half an hour before we start rolling it. Um, and we roll it with a real, with a, with a, with a pasta roller. We don't, I don't do it by hand. If you've ever seen the fabulous Pasta Grannies channel on YouTube, check it out. These women are 70 and above and they're hand rolling this pasta and it's a genius thing. Hi, Michelle Rice, how are you, sweetheart? Thanks for coming today. So loves, there we are. We have a beautiful turkey salad with mayonnaise, a, a beautiful turkey salad with Miracle Whip, and a beautiful spinach salad with apples and sweet potatoes and turkey and almonds and a little blue cheese and a little bacon and a beautiful vinaigrette. So you can use that as well. Fabulous ways to use the tacchino. So, there it is, sweethearts. But we have a short one today, but I just wanted to come in and do something a little bit lighter because there's so many carbs. We have a lot of turkey tetrazzini, which I'm <laughs> pushing on Lars. Uh, but Lars is, you know, walking and running all the time. So I say, here to eat the carbs and mama and I will eat the salads. <laughs> 
Your salads are the best. Thank you, Richard. Richard loves my salads. Richard and I have been friends since I was, oh, you know, knee high to a whatever. Um, a, grasshopper. a grasshopper, that's it. Hi, Kim. How are you, sweetheart? Thanks for joining us today. I made three salads today. Thought I'd do a little leggero. Would be lovely. So it's a beautiful spring day. It's a little cool, but it's gorgeous out there if you're in the East Coast. I know in, in Miami it's gorgeous, Richard. It's going to be 30 so tonight, tell him. It's going to be 30 tonight, though. It's going to be a little chilly. Yeah. Great job. Thanks for the recipes. You're welcome, dear Hope Briggs. Thank you for joining me, sweethearts. Remember to like my YouTube channel. It's Dining with the Diva. Um, I will put it in the comments, and it's always also on my Facebook page. Um, and then you can subscribe because I'm trying to get up to at least 50 subscribers today. And then my dream is to get to a thousand. Well, I'd like, you know, 3.5 million. Who are we kidding? <laughs> you know, who are we kidding? Wouldn't that be fabulous? But, uh, but that's all right. We all have to start somewhere. So it's all good. Yes, Richard, we've been friends. Venti Seani, 26 oh, years. That's, that's sweetheart. Amazing. Fabulous. Angela Brown, I wish you were here cooking with me. Girl, what a hoot. Angela and I knew each other when we would... We're in Italy together with uh, Claudia Pinza's program. We sang there. It was it was fabulous. It was great, great, London? great time. Um, no, it was just fabulous. So I love seeing you on Facebook. It's just amazing. And um, all my love to your family. Hope everybody's safe and well. When all the better in the world, I will host one of my listening afternoons where listen to rare and historical recordings. Oh, yes. Oh, that would be fabuloso. I love rare recordings. And you are invited and please bring that salad. Yes, Gregory, I will bring the salad for sure. Hi, Jackie. How are you, sweetheart? Thanks, sweetheart. Now that we're all home, two million is possible. Yes, Hope brings. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now that everybody's at home, anything's possible, right? Um, I'm going to do something with cooking too. You should, Angela. Do it, sweetheart. I, I think it's great we're all home and can show our different recipes and share it. And one of these days, that's right, go big or go home. That's right, sweethearts. That's the way we have to think about it now. Because with so many of, of, of our co my colleagues that, that uh, have lost a lot of their singing engagements, you know, we all have to stick together. Um, it's, it's been very, very difficult, I know. I know well, we're scheduled to do a lot of concerts in the summer, Lars and myself in Denmark. We're not sure if that will happen. We're not sure about anything right now. So yeah, those were the good old days, weren't they, love? I know. <laughs> Things have changed very quickly. But uh, thank you for being here in my kitchen with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you from Mama Lamberti says hello. Grazie mille. Thank you because it's lovely to have everyone come in. You feel like you're not alone uh, because, you know, now that we're socially distancing and, and quite quarantined, and I'm in New Jersey and not going out too much except on walks and drives and things. It's, it's not the easiest thing, but it's lovely to have all of you out there. It's wonderful. Hi, Ava. How are you, sweetheart? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming in. And I'll keep doing these. I'm, it gives me something to work towards. Uh, hi, Deborah. And I love being in here with all of you. And I love food and I'm passionate about it. So you know, let me know what you'd like to see. If I can get the ingredients and I can find it, I will definitely do it uh, for sure. So I'll be in here every day as much as I can in between my, my teaching and everything like that. Uh, but I just want to thank you all so much. I'm so grateful to you for joining me and supporting me in this uh, in this journey as we go forward. So grazie mille a tutti and a big abbracci from me to all of you. And I love you all and stay safe and be well and be positive. It's all going to be okay. Io ti prometto. I promise. Um, and let's just, you know, keep on cooking and enjoying it and having our passion.